Hello, my beautiful, wonderful stranger friends. I hope you're having a much better week than I've been having. It's been a while, hello. I feel like fucking every video starts with that, but such is life. Um, today's video, I wanted to, I wanted to just check in. I wanted to do a pillow talk because it's been a while and I don't know, I got a lot on my mind. Um, for those of you who haven't been following me on social media, I recently have had a bunch of different tests done because I felt really, really off and just like, heads up, I'm fine, everything will be okay. I just have had a lot of new information come at me in the past couple of weeks that's really explained why I've been having such a shitty go with acne and an upset stomach and basically mood swings, being lethargic, basically falling apart <laughs> while staying together. And the reason being is because I have food sensitivities and I, I'm really, really, really struggling with it. I never thought that this would be anything that I'd ever have to deal with. I eat very clean, as you guys probably know. I, I'm a vegetarian, I eat plant-based, I limit dairy. I do not have a dirty diet. I can't remember the last time I had like fast food. This is just not my lifestyle. Eating in a healthy and clean way is definitely a lifestyle for me. And I have recently found out that basically everything that I eat, I have a sensitivity to and it kind of explains why I've had such issues over the past couple of years that have now built up over the past couple of months. I've been really, really feeling like shit <laughs> and it's, it's really overwhelming. All of these things are kind of combining into why I've been feeling so gross. So I've been having, like I said, digestive issues, upset stomach, to be really TMI, diarrhea, but like all the fucking time and it's affected my mood, it's affected my relationship, it's affected my face, it just, it sucks, it fucking sucks. And anybody that deals with this too, I think that they know how overwhelming it can feel and be. Oh, why am I getting fucking teary? This is just stupid. Oh, let me read you the list. And this list is not definitive, this list is not 100% all food testing and any type of allergy testing always has room for error. It's more so of just getting an idea of what foods your body is sensitive to and then from there you can kind of decide to either do an elimination diet which is probably what I'm gonna have to move towards or you try and just kind of cut down on the foods but anyway so according to my blood test I am reacting to cashew nuts, peanuts, rice, pistachio, sunflower seeds, white beans, soybeans, potato, barley, hazelnut, uh, brewer's yeast, baker's yeast, kidney beans, mustard seed. And so those are my elevated foods and my foods that are more borderline that still bother me but it's not as high is pea, casein, milk, wheat, egg white, almond, lentil, egg yolk, wheat bran, brazil nut, cabbage, celery, oat, and something called gil gilladin? I don't really know what that is. But basically, it's the majority of things that I get my protein from being a vegetarian. And it's horrifying to me thinking that, holy shit, like, I'm not the type of person that's going to eat strictly broccoli for the rest of my life in order to get my protein in. And that's a scary feeling. So basically, you look at any major source of protein, I'm relatively sensitive to it. And that sucks. Like, oh my god, it's really overwhelming, especially for someone that is active and I try to build muscle and keep muscle, it's just like, well, fuck, like, what do I eat? What do I eat? So that's kind of where I'm at. I've just been so in my head with just trying to figure out what the fuck to do. And it's just really disheartening, I guess. Um, from this point forward, I guess what I'm waiting on is, um, I also did hormone testing with my naturopath and we found that I have really, really spiked, fucked up hormones basically um and so i'm trying to figure out i guess an action plan for that and then in the meantime i'm trying to figure out what foods are specifically triggering my major symptoms which for me let's be honest diarrhea is probably one of the major ones 
and um, try and see what causes the bloating and what causes the diarrhea because there might be things on that list that I'm sensitive to but it might not necessarily have like an adverse reaction immediately or something that really like is a triggering thing so I don't mind having little amounts of those food items if I'm not really having any type of reaction to it but I need to figure out what foods are causing reactions and through fruit through food journaling I found that rice definitely is something that really really bloats me potato is something that really bloats me and yeast is something that really bloats me um, there's definitely going to be a lot more probably added to that list as I learn more about my sensitivity and my body but yeah I, I don't know I just I felt like I needed to let you guys know what was going on in my life because that is it's big I do believe in eating a vegetarian and vegan diet. I think that that truly is something that can benefit everyone, the planet, you, the animals, everyone. But now I'm kind of lost on my footing of, okay, well, my body doesn't like these things, you know? So what do you do when all of the things that are supposed to be healthy for you is triggering a bad reaction in your body? Like, that, it just sucks, you know? And for myself, like, so say, Myself, I would substitute like almond milk or cashew milk instead of regular milk because I know that dairy isn't great for you and I don't want to contribute as much to animal cruelty and to see that I'm more reacting to almond and cashews than I am to dairy. It's like, well, my body's saying otherwise. It's shitty because I don't necessarily want to consume those things, but it's the lesser of the evils for me. I don't even know why I'm getting so emotional about this. I think that it's I think that it's because I'm so passionate about living a healthy life and I spend so much time on self-care and my diet and my exercise and to find out that what I'm doing isn't necessarily right for me is, again, it's just overwhelming. So I want to hear from you guys. I want to know, are any of you celiac or any of you dealing with food allergies? How did you, how did you begin to change the structure of what you do? Please, like, I, I would love to hear your story and hear your suggestions because yeah, man, I just feel like, holy shit, it, feel, it feels like I was just hit by a truck. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm not afraid to admit that. So yeah, between food sensitivity and having my hormones be out of whack, I've just felt not myself and really crazy, and I hate feeling like that, and I hate presenting that to the world, and I think that that's why, I think that that's why I've shied away a little bit from social media is because when you're just you're not in that headspace it's really really hard to try and create and to, to give when you have nothing to give and I do get it like don't get me wrong I think a lot of people see this kind of shit as first world problems and I get it it's there's much bigger problems than what I'm dealing with and I'm not you know making anyone else's problems less for having my own but I did want to bring attention to it because I think that a lot of people are struggling with something similar and I think that there's not a ton of people with a platform that talk about it. So, here we go. So that's where I'm at and I have no idea where this journey is going to bring me. I have no idea how much I want to be sharing on the internet, but like I said, I would rather share my experience and what I'm going through and hopefully either gain something back by gaining information from you guys or hopefully give, you know, a voice to people that are struggling with this themselves and are too afraid to ask for help or don't know where to start. I don't know, I just feel like having this conversation is at least the stepping point, right? So, I have no idea. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my deal as of right now. Um, happy things that I'm really excited about that you guys probably aren't going to be excited about, but I'm excited about it. Um, I'm going to Jimmy Eat World tonight. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, I don't even think you know. I, I, if I could have any band play at my wedding, it would be Jimmy Eat World. Like, I have, like, their album, Chase the Slay album, sitting on, like, our bedside table. Like, I am such a Jimmy Eat World fan. <laughs> so I'm incredibly excited to see them tonight. They're going to be at the Commodore. I haven't been to that venue for a while, but it's always so much fun to listen to live music at. Um, it's been sunny the last few days. I've been um, getting outside and playing bocce with my friends or going for walks, which has been so nice. And anybody that lives in like Pacific Northwest or like a really rainy area probably knows how nice it is. When it's sunny, you just feel like a different person. I've been going to the gym a lot, which has been phenomenal. My, uh, 
I was telling my trainer, Sarah, um, <laughs> since my hormones are out of whack and I have ridiculously high testosterone right now, maybe that will help me grow my booty muscles quicker. <laughs> There's always a positive. There always will be. And, you know, as shitty as some things can seem, I'm really, really struggling, but trying to find the positive. And I feel like that's what I have to focus on because if I focus on how I feel, I'm just going to be in a dark spiral of this all sucks. So I'm making the conscious effort to to not feel that way. I'm so glad that I have a good exercise routine. I'm so glad that I've been meditating and taking time to do things like acupuncture and massage. And I don't know, I, I think that it's a lot of things that people just go, yeah, like, yeah, 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 whatever. Like maybe one day when I can afford to do it. It's one of those things that I feel for myself, if I didn't put that as a priority, I'd be like a puddle on the floor. Like in all honesty, I need those types of things as a constant. I need things like yoga and meditation and having moments to myself in order to be able to collect my shit and get through my day. So I don't know if any of you dealing with similar things do similar things like that, but I do definitely know that that has really, really helped me kind of maintain somewhat of a normal balance throughout all of this, but yeah, yeah. I think that that is where I'm gonna leave you guys today. I hope that this video wasn't too much of a bummer to those of you who aren't really interested in my personal life or problems, but um, for those of you who are interested in these types of videos or deal with similar things or, I don't know, just want to be a part of the conversation, I, I really appreciate that you're here. I truly do and I'd love to hear from you. So don't forget to leave me a comment and I will catch you guys hopefully sooner than later in a new video. Bye.